What's up, y'all? Happy Thursday, man. Woo, what a week it's been. What a week. Welcome into the show. This is Sports with Balls. I'm Jeff Michael, your host, as always. Waiting on Grant Miles to join the show here pretty soon. Not today, but uh, we're going to have Grant Miles on back in the studio, back on air with us ASAP. Cannot wait. Also waiting on the great Lauren Leal to have a Another appearance on the show here pretty soon, so we'll get with her um, probably next week or the week after. Lauren's pretty busy, but look, as football's ramping up, uh, we've got, I think, Baltimore and the Houston Texans are full in training camp. So as football starts to get ramped up, the show will also start ramping up a lot more because let's be honest, there is just nothing going on right now, especially since baseball is in the all-star break. I'm not going to sit here and bore you with USA basketball pre-Olympics or Summer League NBA. That is not what we are about to do. I will talk well, okay. I might spend one minute on Bronny today. (laughs) Maybe one minute on Bronny. Today's show though, brought to you by Christian's Tailgate Bar and Grill. Get over to Christian's Tailgate. Go to Christian'sTailgate.com Come find one near you, drink specials, award-winning food, the best place to watch your sports events. It's absolutely unbelievable. For Houston area locations, go to christianstailgate.com. If you're not in Houston and visiting, get there ASAP. Also, Diamond Auto Spa, specializing in, well, hold on. Let me pull up his little graphic here. For those of y'all, by the way, for those of y'all watching Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, uh, we're, all the other ones we're on. I think we're going to start TikTok on Monday. Thank you guys for watching the show via live feed. Love that. Uh, and also, listen, put your questions up there. All right? I'll get to them as soon as I can. And, uh, yeah, we can have a conversation about it. Uh, so uh, <laughs> the show brought to you by Diamond Auto Spa, specializing in paint protection film, ceramic coatings, vinyl wraps, detailing just the beginning. Call Austin Bauer over there, 346 319 Five nine six one. Last but not least, Bailey Roofing and Construction. Listen, dude. There's more storms today. I heard it hailing at my house this morning. If you're in Houston, the weather here has been absolutely horrid. We just had a hurricane go by. Prior to that, we had a tornado go through here. The Center Point Energy is getting absolutely hammered for two million people without power. Uh, over a million people with three to four days. Then. I think there's some people still without power. Over a week, call Bailey Roofing and Construction if your house was damaged in any of these storms. There's more on the way. Give Garrison Bailey a call, 281-961-2872. All right, guys. Uh, as as, As we do always, July 13th, let's get through the national holidays today. Uh, What else we got? What is today? Thursday, July 13th. Beef Talon Day? Like, what the hell is Beef Talon Day? Hold on. First of all, it's not the 13th. That's why I was like, I think I've seen that before. Nelson Mandela Day. Here we go. July the 18th. Nelson Mandela Day. World Listening Day. Insurance Nerd Day. Um, Caviar Day. Man, I had a conversation about caviar the other day. Um, Sour candy day that's it that's my favorite i'm just going through these right now uh and i'm already sold now <laughs> but <laughs> speaking of that i do have to start my diet today man um I, I'm, I'm going on a little mission here i've got to because listen to this i went to the beach this past week in florida uh and where p- photos were taken there and i am not okay with my figure <laughs> in these photos so it will be a uh, gym week for me. I'm going to start my diet, so maybe not National Sour Candy Day for me. Uh, Canelo Alvarez's birthday. It's Perfect Family Day. I don't even know what that means because there's no such thing, really. Everybody's imperfect. Uh, Nelson Mandela's birthday, like I mentioned at the top. Who else we got, man? Uh, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel's birthday. So there you go. Uh, Dapper Your Dapper your Data Day. National Sour Candy. So Sour Candy, Caviar. Uh, and World Listing Day, and all, obviously Nelson Mandela Day. We'll get to the sports uh, sports events in today's history later on. But again, welcome into the show. I'm Jeff Michael. This is Sports with Ball, so let's talk sports. Uh, what do we got today first up, man? I guess let's let's talk about the Open. Right now, you've got golf headlining the sports world, and what a great time 
for them to headline because there's no football, there's no basketball, really. There's no baseball because we're on the All-Star break until I think tomorrow. Are there games today? No. Games on Friday. That's what I thought. Tomorrow, Diamondbacks and Cubs kick it off at 120. I have yet to beat a beat a, or go to a game in Chicago and Wrigley Field. I'll get there one day. So golf headlines, great uh, great opening day for them. Right now, I believe Justin Thomas is in the lead over there. If not, yes, he is. Negative three. A. Norin is negative two. Hogard is minus two. Justin Rose minus two. And Henley minus two. Tiger Woods just teeing off. I think he may be through one hole. I'll try to find his score as we get down here. Uh, he's even through one. So part number one. Are you guys interested in golf anymore? There's been golf headlines going all over the place. And even though Tiger Woods is not playing that well, he was the top story in golf this past week with Colin Montgomery t- calling for his reti- Colin calling for his retirement this past week and Tiger Woods with a great clap back on him, but I don't think Tiger should retire. Is it is it frustrating or hard to watch Tiger Woods not be the old Tiger Woods? 100%. It is very very frustrating, very uh It's just hard to watch. Let's put it like that. I want to see him make those shots he used to do. I want to see Tiger on a 290-yard par 5. Well, he's got 290 left. And him pump it on the green. I want to see the the fist pump as well. I don't see any of that. It's uh, I want to see the, the the tiger twirl and him walk after the ball after a great shot, waiting for it to land on the green. Those are fantastic moments. Are we done with those moments? I I don't know. I, I hope. What was it, Nick? Um, who was it? Tom Watson that almost won the Masters when he was was it the Masters of the Open when he was in his seventies or late sixties, mid sixties maybe. It's there's things that can happen. It's just I I don't. Man, I, I just I it's hard to watch Tiger Woods. It's very hard to watch, especially when he struggles. He doesn't make many cuts these days. And it just sucks. Uh, like Justin Thomas, great player, but I'm not gonna sit down around watch a round of golf of Justin Thomas. Justin Rose, not gonna watch him. Adam Scott and you know, Jason Day. These are the guys that are at the top of the leaderboard right now. I'm not watching them. Tony Finau. I'm not sitting down and watching a whole day of Tony Finau golf. Not doing it. There's there's not even many golfers. I mean, name one. Give me a golfer you you would watch 18 holes with on television. Just name one that you're like, man, I, I want to watch that guy. Ah, there's not many, man. If any, Tiger, I'll watch all day, even when he's playing bad. Brooks Kepka is plus one. I'm not watching a full day of Brooks Kepka. I'm just not doing it. If Tiger's in the lead, he moves the needle. We're all watching if Tiger Woods is is, is playing good. And it sucks if he doesn't make Saturday, Sunday. It's absolutely, it absolutely sucks. But we'll see if he does. He's, he's even uh, as of right now. Now, those of y'all listening to the podcast version later on, I'm sure uh, things will obviously be different. Hopefully, he'll be up. I mean, what, what's your goal for him? Right now, the leader's at negative three. I don't see anybody shooting. Maybe, maybe somebody gets to negative five. But this is a tough, tough course. Uh, I, I think if Tiger shoots even par, that's a great day. But I can completely see him going plus five. I, I I easily see that. I mean, there's guys that are already at plus five. Uh, it's Tommy Morrison, amateurs at plus five after fourteen. There's some people that are at plus six. There's already a plus a plus eleven. John Daly. This sucks because I love John Daly. In the clubhouse with the worst shot or with the worst score yet. Plus eleven. He shot an eighty-two. He is in the clubhouse uh, with a. With a plus 11. Man, John Daly. I wish he would get back to being old Daly. I guess he really doesn't care. You know, it is what it is. But uh, we'll see what happens. Who's messaging me? Something good going on? No, nothing important. All right. um, That's all I got for the Open, man. I mean, really? Go Tiger Woods. I, I, I want to see some. I want to see him make the weekend. Be competitive. Justin Thomas, it's great for him. He's he's in with a minus three in the clubhouse. That's great. Somebody gets to minus five today, that's fantastic. But 
as we know, uh, this course can change very, very quickly. I don't know the wind. I haven't seen anything going on over there. I don't know the wind. I don't know the weather. But uh, this course is tough. Very, very tough. Let's see. All right, let's move on from golf. What do we got going on next, man? I don't – I'm not going to – I'm not going to get into this brawny thing too much, man. I, it's just not – let's go to Caitlin Clark, WNBA stuff. Caitlin Clark breaks – uh, WNBA record last night with 19 assists, which is unfreaking believable. 19. And my question to you is, though, should she shoot more? Is, should Caitlin Clark shoot more shots? She had 19 assists last night. They lost. I think she had 25, 26 points and, a, and an L. 19 assists, 20 something points, and you take the loss. Should she be jacking the ball up like she was in college? See, the thing was, when she was at Iowa, they needed 30 out of her. Had to have 30. Now, I know she's adjusting. She's a rookie. What are we, 20 games in? Something like that. But, man, I, I, would, I would like to see 35 and 14. <laughs> like That sounds awesome. She had 35 points, 14 assists. I know she's a facilitator. I don't know if she's turning into just the assist lady. And, and I know that her teammates – are not uh, equipped yet to handle these passes that she's given them. Some of them are getting hit in the face with these balls. But, man, I want to see her shoot more. I just want to see Caitlin Clark shoot the ball more and try to – I'm not saying she's not trying to win, but she's becoming a massive facilitator. Rookie of the year? Most likely. I mean, it's a two-horse race, but I, I, I see her – I see her winning, especially with this 19 assists. She's going to put up a few more games that are that are going to be unbelievable. So I, I believe that she she hands down wins Rookie of the Year, for sure. But we'll see. And the WNBA, I think they are – let me go through this. I'm going to look at the standings here. I don't know if they're in the playoffs. I know they were the AC. Does everybody make the playoffs in the WNBA? <laughs> oh, top eight. Uh, they are number seven. So right now the Indiana Fever are in the playoffs. Eight out of the 12 teams make it, for those of y'all that didn't know. I don't even know how many teams are uh, or how many games are in the WNBA season. New York Liberty are 21 and four, obviously the favorites. Connecticut Sun, the closest team, 18 and six. And then you got to go down a little bit to find the Fever, who are 11 and 15, five and five in their last 10 games. Man. Uh, it doesn't look like they'll be caught. The final four teams, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Washington, and Dallas, are all I, I, they're almost all eliminated. So uh, it looks like they will make the Indiana Fever will make the playoffs. And right now they will play the Connecticut Sun. I believe if if it goes by the NBA standings on playoffs, I don't know. It's just one, it's just one league, right? 12 teams. So number, I would assume number seven plays number two. I don't know. I have to figure that out. But right now they play Connecticut. And uh, look, Kaylin Clark will get her first playoff experience. Good for her. I do think – give me a player or two that, that she can play with. I don't think these girls she's playing with can play with her. I don't know if she needs a new head coach. I don't, I don't know what needs to what she needs surrounding her. I, I just would love to see her shoot the ball more. 19 assists is fantastic, but you took the L. Give me 40. Shoot – give me 40 points. Come on, Kaylin. Let's do it. That sounds awesome. I'm not going to sit here. Uh, well, you know what? Let's move on. Let's go to baseball because uh, that was about to get into the Home Run Derby and the All-Star event. <sighs> okay. They put out ratings for the All-Star. Okay. They, this was so misleading, right? Because they said that it was the best sports All-Star game around. And the ratings were way better than any other sports All-Star game. Let's be fair, guys. There is no other All-Star game. What, NHL? Come on, man. Come on. You're not comparing that, are you? NFL, they don't have one. They don't have an All-Star game. The Pro Bowl, that's it's gone. There's The NBA All-Star is absolute. You know, we all know how bad the NBA All-Star events get hammered. So baseball putting out that this was the best all-star ratings of any sport, any major sport, is the biggest non-flex I've ever seen. Especially 
after uh, they said there was a record low in 2023, and it was only up 6% from 2023 from your record low. Come on, do better. Do better. <clears throat> and, and the uniforms? Stop, dude. Just go back to wearing their team's uniforms. It is unbelievable they wear these Mickey Mouse things on the field. I absolutely hate it. I think everybody else does. Not a single person was like, man, those are awesome. No. It's terrible. We're sports fans. Do better. Give me their team. Let them wear their colors, and let's play like we used to. By the way, by the, way the ratings drew uh, 7.4 viewers, up 6% from 2023, but the second lowest for the event, just like I was saying. It's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, this year's game had a 3.8 rating and 12 share down from a 3.9, 12 last year. I just <laughs> oh, let's go to the home run derby. I, I, the these all star games, man. I don't know who their marketing people are, but they're terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Home run derby Monday night, uh, won by Teoscar Hernandez, drew five point four five million viewers. By the way, not the same without Chris Berman. Uh, down eleven percent. Down eleven percent from six uh, six point eleven six point one million last year. And six point eight million in twenty twenty two. It said <laughs> they got to put this in the end. This year's Derby was opposite the first night of the Republican National Convention. Did that draw viewers away? How how many viewers did the Republican National? Uh, uh, I'm not going to get into politics. Not my not my thing. What happened to these all-star events? What happened to this thing, man? Remember the dunk contest? My gosh, dude. You could not stop watching the dunk contest. It was a damn spectacle. It was an event. <clears throat> it was absolutely fantastic. We sat there and watched these guys do things we'd never seen before. People jumping over cars. Um, and it wasn't more than, than six, seven years ago. We had a great dunk contest. The Zach Levine one. Was that more than six, seven years ago? Maybe it was. I'm getting old. But I just where, where's all the where are all these all-star events? Where were the Pro Bowls gone? The NBA, the NBA uh the festivities has turned into a, just a disaster. An absolute disaster. Whoever's in charge of that fired. I, I guess the last 10 of them have been. It's been it's been a disaster for a while. Now you got the MLB home run derby. And that was trash. And is it because we don't have the stars if Shohei was in it? I get it. <clears throat> There's a ton of people watching. If you're Don, why is it not mandatory for the leaders to be in this thing? The the Jordan Alvarez and Shohei Otani should have been th that would you want to talk about your ratings? Put Jordan and Shohei in this uh in this home run championship and uh, home run derby and let's go. Everybody's tuning in. Hype that up. We can't get hype for Teoscar Hernandez and Bobby Witt Jr. Are you kidding? Come on, man. That's a that's a terrible, terrible uh, home run derby. <laughs> like I don't no like nobody. No, show me the ratings at the end of that because I'm sure everybody dropped off. I'm not a huge Garcia fan, but I think he hits the ball the furthest. And Pete Alonso, get the guys that hit the ball the farthest. Put the, that's what we want to see. Mark McGuire. Jose Canseco, Sammy Sosa, those, like, I don't care if they're on steroids. Barry Bonds, dude, give me the guys that can hit the ball the furthest. That's what we're there for. You guys put in these trash players that hit the ball 337 feet and it's a home run. Nobody wants to see that. My child can do that. Come on, man. Do better, MLB. That's, that's a terrible, uh, terrible home run derby. The weekend was if you're gonna if it's a a, a rotten tomato score it's a thirty eight percent. That's all I'm saying. I I want the long bomb hitters, and I I'm not sure how you make it mandatory. I'm not sure what you do. I'm not sure if you got to pay them, but you got to put in the bombers. You have to put in the guys that hit the ball the furthest. If we had a matchup at the end of that thing and it was Shohei versus Jordan Alvarez, there's not a single person that likes baseball that's not watching that. That would be amazing. Flat out amazing. But instead, we had uh, Bobby Witt Jr. and Teoscar Hernandez. <sighs> Whatever. 
<laughs> just that's so freaking annoying, man. Oh man, and and you know I'm not gonna sit here and go off about the NFL. That is a uh, very demanding sport physically. Uh, I'm not sure how. I, I like the old competitions where you know Favre was chunking it and, and Marino was chunking it as far as they could, see who what quarterback could throw the furthest. But then of course they wear their arms out. The 40 yard dash was fun. 100 yard, 100 meter dash was fun, but you got people risking injuries, and nobody wants to do that anymore because it's millions and millions and millions. It's life changing money if you pull your hamstring. So, it is what it is. Uh, what else we got on the docket? We went over the uh, the open a little bit. By the way, guys, if you missed anything, uh, podcast version will be up directly after this. Uh, let's see, Bronny. <sighs> I said I'd spend a minute on this. Um, <laughs> Bronny's not a good as as far as I can see the eye test. Bronny James does nothing for me. It's not his fault. He's he's thrust into this. He should have gone through two years of college. <clears throat> he should have done some more uh, uh, G League stuff. He's got a huge contract now. There's expectations on his shoulder. He's LeBron James' son. He was 0 of 16, I think, for the three-point line before he finally hit one last night. Um, that just uh, There's nothing there for me. I don't see the eye test. I don't see Bronny James as an NBA player, you know? I just don't see it. It doesn't. He doesn't look like one. He's not some, like, elite defender. Anyways, will he play for the Lakers this year? Yes. Will he share the floor with his dad? Yes. 100%. They'll find a way to get him in there. I don't know how much time he'll spend up in the NBA, but he'll get there. He had 12 points, career high in the G League, or Summer League, sorry. But he, sh- he will be playing in the G League, I believe. If they have Bronny James on their bench to start the season, uh, Lakers are in big trouble. So we were talking about baseball a second ago. I'm going to go over the standings <clears throat> real fast and a quick little – because the second half of the season starts Friday. There's uh, what, how many games? At 80, 92 games are in. So they got 70 something, 70 games left. Or 98 games. Let's see. The Yankees are at 98 games. Somewhere around 70 games left. Let's just put it like that. Baltimore, three and seven in their last 10. After Yankees went on that disastrous run, Baltimore turns around and has their own disastrous run. Now the Yankees are one game back. This is in the AL East. They're only four and six in the last 10. <clears throat> Boston Red Sox are only four and a half games out of first place in that division. That is unbelievable, especially how the Yankees started and especially how the Orioles have been playing. AL Central, Cleveland Guardians, four and a half games up on the Minnesota Twins. They're four and six in the last 10. <clears throat> Damn, man, these guys are the top, top teams are not playing good. AL West, Seattle Mariners. Only one game up of the hottest team in all of baseball, the Houston Astros, who are now um, four games over 500, one game back in the Mariners, and will most likely take that spot here in the next week. If they continue playing like they are, I don't see anybody beating them. The Rangers, though, 7-3 in the last 10. They're right behind with five games back at a first, four games at a second. Over the National League, the hottest team, well, the best team in all of majors, not the hottest, but the best team in all of baseball, the Philadelphia Phillies, uh, plus 110 differential. And I'm going to tell you why the Philadelphia Phillies are the best team in baseball. It's one reason only. Their pitching is healthy. They've got good, Their pitching is phenomenal. They, they've got it going on in Philly. All right, now they've had some injuries uh, in the batter's box, but pitching-wise, they're fantastic. Braves are right behind Philadelphia in the, in the NL East. They're eight and a half games, though. Uh, it's a runaway. It is an absolute runaway. Uh, probably in three to four more weeks that the National League East should be wrapped up. Unless Atlanta goes on some massive run. Milwaukee Brewers in the Central lead by four and a half games over the Cardinals. The surprising Cardinals. Same record as the Astros, 50 and 46. A good baseball team, man. They're negative 38 in run differential, but a good baseball team. <clears throat> then we get down to the NL West. The Los Angeles Dodger, Dodgers, who are three and seven in their last 10 games, have had an absolute nightmare. Uh, they just lost another starting pitcher, I think, yesterday. The Yashimoto guy, 
I, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. And, of course, they, they've lost to other pitchers as well already. They, they are in trouble. Now, I know the trade deadline's coming up. I know Dodgers are going after a pitcher. I know the Astros are going after a first baseman. And I'm not really sure what the Philadelphia Phillies do. I don't know if the Mariners make a move. We'll start getting into that pretty soon. I don't think uh, Baltimore, they're not going to do anything. The Yankees, here's your, here's your buyers. Yankees, Red Sox, Mariners, Astros, Braves, Dodgers. That that uh, I would think those are your those are your buyers. Your sellers, Cincinnati, Chicago Cubs, the Washington Nationals. Nah, they don't have anybody. Uh, I, I don't know where the Mets stand. They're probably they're they're in the middle there somewhere. Um, Angels, Oakland A's, White Sox, Tampa Bay. Those are your sellers probably. But we'll get into that uh, as as the uh, week, well, next week goes on and we get closer to the trade deadline because it will be hot. All right, guys, a couple NFL teams reported. We'll get into that tomorrow or Monday. Obviously, we got baseball starting up on Friday. The Opens this weekend. Football starting to rear back up, which means sports with balls will start firing back up as well. <clears throat> I want to thank a couple people before we get out of here. Christianstailgate.com. Go to Christianstailgate.com. Find one near you, award-winning food, drink specials. they got goat yogas. They have trivia. They've got just all sorts of things, man. Taco Tuesdays, they're award-winning hamburgers. Go to christianstailgate.com. Find one near you. Also, Diamond Auto Spa. Go call Austin Bauer over there, 346-319-5961. Diamond Auto Spa, specializing in paint protection film ceramic coatings, and vinyl wrap. Detailing is just the beginning. And I told you guys about these storms. Bailey Roofing and Construction, 281-961-2872. Call Garrison Bailey at that number or go to gb at baileyroofingconstruction.com. All right, guys. Uh, today in sports history, today is the 18th. I'm not going to bore you with the 1800 stuff. Let's skip down here. Commissioner Ford Frick rules Babe Ruth's record of 60 home, his 60th home run in a 154 game schedule in 1927 must be broken in first 154 of 162 games. So Ruth hitting 60 home runs in a 154 scheduled uh, scheduled season in 1927. Uh, obviously, we know who broke it. What else we got here? Joe Namath agrees to sell interest in Bachelors Three to stay in the NFL. All right, good job. <laughs> Willie Mays, the late, great Willie Mays in 1970 becomes the 10th baseball player to get 3,000 hits. Some people consider the greatest all-around baseball player of all time. Um, let's see. Tom Watson won the British Open. What is this? Um, 1982. What else we got? New York Yankees Don Mattingly ties the record of eight uh, home runs in eight consecutive games. Don, man, I used to have his rookie card. I wish those things were still valuable. Those that just era isn't uh, isn't worth a whole lot. In 1991, this day, Mike Tyson meets Miss Black America contestants. Contestants, we all saw how that went. Um, 1993, Greg Norman won the British Open. Man. Um, 1994, Houston Astros tied the National League comeback record, trailing 10 to 0 to beat the Cards 15 to 12. Good job, Houston Astros. That was their uh, World Series. Wasn't that their World Series here? Where they went and got swept by the Chicago White Sox. Uh, let's see. David Cohn, 1999, David Cohn becomes 15th pitcher to throw a perfect game. Wow. Good job, David Cohn. He was amazing. The, today in 1999. Lance Armstrong won the ESPYs in 2004. We all know where that went. Uh, and that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Kawhi Leonard. Oh, 2018, Kawhi Leonard traded to the Toronto Raptors in exchange for DeMar DeRozan, Jacob Patol, and a protected 2019 uh, first-round draft pick. Kawhi ended up winning a championship there. Good for him. And that's it. That's going to do it, guys. Listen, sports with balls tomorrow and or Monday. We'll see what happens after today. If there's enough sports going on where I feel – like it's imperative. We'll have one tomorrow morning. If not, we'll see you guys Monday. My name's Jeff Michael. See you later.